guys. Well, I'm getting ready for week three of homeschooling my first grader and two little preschoolers. And I just wanted to share with you some of the things we're going to use this week. And it is Pete the Cat slash Tom and Jerry week. We are adding Tom and Jerry because my first grader loves them. And whenever I told him it was going to be Pete the Cat week, he immediately said, let's add Tom and Jerry in there. So I'm like, okay, we'll make it both. So I got Pete the Cat books coming from the library and we're going to watch some of the YouTube videos with Pete the Cat on there and we'll probably also for like a reward sometimes I might add in a Tom and Jerry video for him because he enjoys that. So some of the other things we're going to use. I have these things that I got from the Dollar Tree. Dogs and kitty cats. And we will use these for a Kind of just a, a hands-on learning activity to go along with our other things we'll be learning. We'll use these like the kitty cats. I might add a word family name like I think he's going to be doing short I words next week for spelling. So it would be in IP, you know, and he'll have to match the spelling words that go with this. Like I'll print them out and he'll have to just put the right ones on the different kitty cats that have the same word family. And for, we might do the same thing with bones that we use in the feed spike activity last week. And we'll probably bring feed spike back because he's part of Tom and Jerry. And we will use some dog bones on here. For the girls, I might use like the counting little figures or even like the little dog treats that we have around here that are little bitty dog bones and put a number and they have to add that number of things to this little guy and or we might do I might write a letter on here in a dry erase marker and they have to put the magnetic letter that matches on top and so that's something you'll see in my at the end of the week video you'll see how we use these in our day also have some stickers for them that I picked up at the Dollar Tree dogs and cats looking cute and silly that I thought they would like for our center time we have lots of kitty cats. This is actually a mommy kitty that has three little babies that stick to her. And just kitty cats, wherever I could find them in our house, I grabbed them. And we also have some pencil topper ones that might be fun motivators to stick on their pencil. So we'll see. And I'm going to share with you some of the other worksheets and things I've printed out. And we'll see you at the end of the week. For circle time, I'm going to put these posters up by our area and these say, Pete says, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, it's all good, which is kind of going to be a, the theme of our week is going to be contentment. This one says, Pete says, you get what you get and you don't get upset, it's all good. And then Pete says, you get what you get and you appreciate it it's all good I thought those went real well with our character of the week which I'll show you in a minute this is something my first grader is going to do of a color word activity or his white shoes should I say this is one I printed off of 3dinosaurs.com out of her Pete the Cat pack and this is for my preschoolers to do some writing practice and some Pete the cat that they will cut out and glue down to a separate sheet of paper. They like to do that kind of activity. So I will put that in their work boxes. This is one for all of them to do and it's, they're going to color the shoes the different color. Um, this is something I printed off of prekinders.com and she has another activity where you print pictures similar to these. Um, but I got this from another lady and I'm link, putting all my links down below. But I figured the shoes, you're supposed to, they're supposed to say like if you stepped on a strawberry and then they have to find the color the shoe would be and put it on the right colored shoe to match. So this is some things we'll probably do during circle time, like a group activity. We'll talk, I'll give them each a shoe and they can find the different kind of thing that they would have stepped, that Pete would have stepped in and what color it would have turned his shoes and we'll talk about that. But she also has a syllable activity that we'll do together also, which will be, you know, figuring out how many syllables each of these words has and putting it in the right spot. So I thought that was good 
for training their little ears to hear syllables. And then this is a printable that went with the syllable activity that I will give to my little preschoolers to do with help from me while brother's doing his first grade work. This is a labeling activity. We started doing these last year and I like when I find them, the kids really seem to like doing them. And my, my girls, my little preschoolers really like cutting and gluing and my son does too. So that's one we'll do all together. It's good for science-y body parts um, talk. And then I printed out a book for them to each make about peach shoes that kind of goes through. Um, I love my white shoes. I love my red shoes. It goes through and just it has like the things they're walking through that are making their shoes his shoes turn different colors. I thought they would enjoy the Tom and Jerry printables I found are these little number mazes. I, this is from the preschoolers in our bunch and uh, my son I did his all the way to 100 and they're supposed to trace the path that the letters make uh, the numbers make to get to the ending number so Tom can get Jerry. I figured they will really like that. Um, I printed out a maze that I found. This was on kindergartenteacherresources.com and just to get Tom to go to Jerry. And then these I'm going to use for journaling during the week and probably these, these will probably last us more than just this week. But I thought it was just little funny pictures and I might ask questions like what is Jerry doing what is Tom doing? Why is this picture funny? And he can write his responses to that. This is our character board for the week. And our scripture of the week is do all things without complaining or arguing. And our character card for this week says, I am content. I have my wanter under control. I am not bored, greedy, or always wanting more. And I don't beg or whine. And the scripture that went on with that was Psalm 131, 2. I have made myself calm and content. Hope you have a great one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.